and welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me for a hot minute, um, you know that I cut my hair very dramatic recently in May of last year, so around my birthday. My best friend Erica, who also does my hair, she's amazing, hey girl, what's up? I came to her with a little blonde bob and I said I want to do a pixie cut and I want it to be pink. <laughs> So we did that, exactly that, and I actually have a video on that, so I'll link that down below for you guys, or I'll have like the little card here that you can um, go ahead and click on when you're done watching this video. Shortly after the cut, I did another video on how I styled my pixie cut, and I'll link her down below as well. This time around, we are growing out my hair. I know it's like a total mess, but it's actually doing pretty well. So um, the reason why it's only this long after a whole year is because after we did the first cut I went back and we actually shaved my hair. I'll insert pictures and uh, it, it was definitely a look. <laughs> I got a ton of compliments on it and I did love it. I'm not gonna lie, it's just the growing out process. It's just I'm so tired of my short hair that I'm like ready for length again. Like I'm ready to be a medium to long haired queen. If you guys want to see a video on how we upkeep the trimming of my hair in the growing out process, leave a comment down below so that way we know and I can meet up with Erica um, for my next haircut and we can do a quick little video about that. I'm sure she wouldn't mind. So this is my hair natural. Um, I went ahead and I showered it, washed, I showered it. Pfft. I just washed it this morning, so it's nice and dry now. I'm going to take a heat protectant spray. Anyone will work. This is just a Tresemme one. If I don't use a heat protectant, Erica will kill me. Then I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but I just kind of like comb it through my hair just so that it all gets nice and coated. Once I do that, I'm going to take two tiny little spritzes of this Maui Moisture Coconut Oil, oh sorry, Coconut Milk Weightless Oil Mist for dry hair. So just like, it's basically like an oil, but I just wanna do the tiniest amount. Literally that's all you need because this will make your hair super shiny and oily if you put too much. I just got some on my face. Nothing a little beauty blender can't fix. Once we have that going on, um, I usually put like dry shampoo or like a texturizing spray. I just, I don't have any at the moment, so we're just going to kind of wing it. So I need a clip. Hold on. I need a clip. So I like to start off on this side of my head, the left side. So I'm going to just take my, the front part of my hair and just kind of set it aside. Taking my straightener because most of my hair will lay over top this part, I'll just kind of straighten it backward. Then I'll go around the back part of the hair and just straighten the little tiny baby pieces. I know you probably can't see, my arms are like crazy, but I'm not a hair person, you guys. I do makeup, not hair. And what I'll do is I'll kind of like twist and curl like at the bottom. So like I'll grab onto the hair and I'll like curl it under. Like so. I go ahead and I start to kind of part this little section here. Clip the rest of the hair back. What I do is I'll literally just take my straightener, wrap her, and then release. Wrap her around the straightener, maybe meh meh meh, clamp it a few times and release. And I do this in like tiny pieces because I want this to look like super voluminous. I'm not going to touch it right now. I know I look insane. I'm just going to move on to the next little section up here. Okay, so we are curling. Okay, and then I kind of like twist it downward when I get closer towards like the back or the very top of my hair. When it comes to the front piece of my hair that's almost like a bang, I'll then, instead of curling it this way, I'll curl it outward. So I'll curl her like this, this, and then down. And I'll usually focus on that part maybe like a few times. And then from here, I know, again, we're still looking crazy. Our curls are just out of control. It'll come together, I promise. Baby piece up front, curl, string her down. There we go. I'm just going to go around the top of my head. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of 
work on the back section now and I'm gonna try and turn around and move my mirror so you guys can see what I'm doing and hopefully I stay in focus and my arm does not get in the way <laughs> with these sections I'll do that same thing I'll curl and then I twist and pull down as I release <sighs> oh, break down or black out would you make out with me on the floor curl and I twist, pull down. And I kind of just grab like random little pieces as I do this. Just because I want the back to be textured but not as like perfect as the front, you know? So I am twisting away from my face, which is key for curling hair with a straightener. Some pieces that are a little bit shorter, closer to my head, I'll twist inward so it doesn't like flip out all weird. Now is the fun part. So now I'm going to go ahead and kind of run fingers through my hair and make any adjustments. This side of my hair isn't as long as the other side of my hair is. So what I'm going to do is I kind of have been just grabbing a tiny, tiny little piece and I'll twist it and just bobby pin it. And here's how I bobby pin. I go up and then into the twist. So it kind of hides the bobby pin, but it'll for sure stay in place all day. And then again, I'll kind of like mess with the front pieces. At this point, it's just kind of like you play around with it, you know? I'm just going to go ahead and go back into these front pieces here. And I'm going to curl them back just because I feel like they're sticking out a little much in the front so and then you can either like kind of tuck behind your ear you can just leave it as it is and it's honestly it's different every day like the curls will either lay a different direction or whatever so my hair does constantly change every day but this is just what I've been doing with it is like I will curl it and just kind of pin it here and then I'm hairspray it and I'm good to go I'm no professional but this is just what I find works for me and this is just the kind of the style that I've been enjoying doing to my hair while it's growing out. That is pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions about my hair, like any pixie questions or anything like that, you can leave them in the comments down below and I will be sure to answer them maybe in another video if there's enough questions. Yeah, so that is pretty much it on how I style my hair now. My grown out pixie cut. Well, it's still in the process of growing out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up so I know you liked it and I will continue to maybe do some more update videos about my hair for you guys like pixie cut and growing it out and all that fun stuff so keep me posted let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye